Hi students, how are you all? Today's topic is Pythagoras theorem. Yes, Pythagoras theorem or Pythagoras theorem because some people call it Pythagoras theorem and some says Pythagoras theorem. But before starting Pythagoras or Pythagoras, whatever you say, I want to ask you a question. You know triangle? Yes, we know triangle. Triangle means three sides and three angles. Fine. A triangle is a shape with three sides and three angles. Now if I ask you what is a right angle triangle? Yes, right angle triangle is a triangle whose one angle is 90 degree. Yes, the triangle with one angle is 90 degree is called a right angled triangle. And Pythagoras theorem is related to a right angled triangle. Let us draw a right angled triangle first. This is a right angled triangle you can see. Fine. Now, this is called perpendicular. This is base. This is called hypotenuse. Understood? And this is 90 degree. Yes. For this triangle, this angle is 90 degree. That's why it is a right angle triangle. And as I told you, Pythagoras theorem is related to a right angled triangle. So, this is perpendicular, this is base and this is called hypotenuse. And according to Pythagoras theorem, we can say that perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. Fine. This is Pythagoras theorem. What is that? Perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. And remember, hypotenuse is that side which is opposite to the right angle. I mean 90 degree. See here, this is 90 degree. Opposite of 90 degree, this is hypotenuse. And which is the largest side. Fine. So, what is Pythagoras theorem? According to Pythagoras theorem, the sum of the perpendicular, sorry, sum of the square of perpendicular and base is equal to the square of hypotenuse. Now, we will do some sums related to Pythagoras theorem. So, let us move to our maths copy. So, let's start the first sum. In first sum, a triangle is there. You can see the question displaying on your screen. A, O, C, B. Yes, angle B is 90 degree. Now, it's given that A, B is 8 centimeter. A, B is 8 centimeter. B, C equal to 6 centimeter. Only this much is 6 centimeter. B, C. Fine. O, C we have to find. And uh, A, C equal to 3 centimeter. This is 3 centimeter. Fine. We have to find O, C. Let O, C equal to X. So, we are considering it X. Now, in triangle ASOC, in triangle AOC, I can write that perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. So, let us write that AO square plus X square, base is X, equal to hypotenuse square, equal to 3 square. So, that is AO square equal to 9 minus X square. Fine. Now, in triangle ABO, again AO square plus BO square equal to AB square. Fine. This is the bigger triangle. Perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. Now, AO square means we do not know what is AO square plus BO square. BO means 6 plus x that is 6 plus x whole square equal to ab square ab square is 8 square it's given in the question so ao square plus a plus b 
होल स्क्वायर सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर सो ए ओ स्क्वायर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर माइनस ऑल दिस विल टेक दैट साइड सो सिक्स स्क्वायर इज गोइंग दैट साइड थर्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सो ए ओ स्क्वायर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इज ट्वेंटी एट माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर फाइन नाउ ए ओ स्क्वायर इक्वल टू नाइन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सो वी कैन पुट दिस वैल्यू हिया नाइन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर ट्वेंटी एट माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सो लेट अस टेक ऑल दिस एक्स दिस साइड सो माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर ट्वेंटी एट दिस प्लस नाइन विज कम दिस साइड सो इट्स माइनस नाइन गॉड इट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर सो ट्वेल्व एक्स इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट माइनस नाइन इज नाइनटीन सो एक्स इक्वल टू नाइनटीन बाई ट्वेल्व सो वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज ओ सी सो वी गॉट ओ सी इक्वल टू नाइनटीन बाई ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर लेट अस मूव टू आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू टू पोल्स ऑफ हाइट सिक्स मीटर एंड इलेवन मीटर स्टैंड वर्टिकली लेट अस ड्रॉ द फिगर सिक्स मीटर एंड इलेवन मीटर से दिस इज सिक्स मीटर एंड दिस इज इलेवन मीटर फाइन दिस इज सिक्स मीटर दिस इज इलेवन मीटर दिस इज ए बी दिस इज सी डी फाइन नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देयर टॉप दैट मीन्स दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट वी हैव टू फाइंड गॉड इट दिस डिस्टेंस वी हैव टू फाइंड एंड वॉट इज गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देअर बेस इज ट्वेल्व मीटर दिस डिस्टेंस इज ट्वेल्व मीटर गिवेन डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देयर बेस वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देयर टॉप नाउ टू फाइंड द टॉप वी हैव टू ड्रॉ समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा I mean construction we have to do. What is that construction? We have to draw from A a line we will draw which is parallel to BD. Understood? This is parallel to BD. Yes. So when you are drawing this line parallel to BD, that means since this is ninety degree, so obviously this is also ninety degree. That means this is twelve, so this is also twelve. Now this much is six, and this total is eleven. So this total is eleven, and this much is six. So if this is six, this is also six. Now since the total is eleven, so eleven minus six that is five. So this is five meter. Fine. Now in this triangle, we know the perpendicular and we know the base. So we can easily find the hypotenuse by using Pythagoras theorem. So what is that? Perpendicular square plus base square. Yes, perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. So twenty five plus one forty four hypotenuse square. So hypotenuse square equal to one sixty nine. So hypotenuse equal to root over one sixty nine. That is thirteen. So my hypotenuse is thirteen. Thirteen means this thirteen meter is the distance between there. tops fine so let's move to our third question question number 3 you can see on your screen a figure is given let us draw the figure first yes there are two right triangles no yes this is 90 degrees given h this is x this is a minus x b and c so a b c is the triangle and d it is the altitude now in this one we have to show c square equal to a square plus b square minus 2ax as you can see displaying on your screen so let us start with this triangle now in this triangle if i use pythagoras theorem 
then perpendicular square perpendicular means c so perpendicular square equal to sorry sorry hypotenuse square equal to this is hypotenuse hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square so perpendicular square plus base square fine now so c square equal to a square plus a minus b whole square this formula will be used here that is a square minus 2ax plus x square fine now we will do something extra like we'll take this triangle this triangle what can i write from this triangle h square plus x square equal to b square yes h square plus x square equal to b square why because perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square now h square equal to b square minus x square this x square is going this side so b square minus x square now we'll put this value of h square here equal to b square minus x square plus a square minus 2ax plus x square understood now minus x square plus x square cancelled so what we are getting b square sorry a square plus b square minus 2x it's proved question number four a triangle abc whose angle b is 90 degree so this is my triangle abc my angle b is 90 degree and m is any point on bc said m is this point fine now we are joining am what do you have to show am square plus bc square yes am square plus bc square equal to ac square plus bm square so let us write our our right hand side yes rhs from right hand side will come to our left hand side what is given in the right hand side ac square plus bm square now let us see uh, from the whole triangle we'll see whole triangle we can write that hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square fine so this ac square equal to ab square plus bc square we'll put it here ab square plus bc square plus bm square now we will take this triangle now so from this triangle i can write that am square equal to ab square plus bm square because hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square now from here bm square equal to ab square you take that side so am square minus ab square fine so instead of bm square i will write am square minus ab square am square minus ab square got it plus ab square minus ab square cancelled so what we are getting am square plus bc square see we started from right, right hand side and we reached left hand side so it's proved so let's move to our question number five Question number five, you can see displaying on your screen. Read the question very carefully. It's an important question. Question number five, a rectangle is given ABCD. Yes, say this is the rectangle ABCD. Now, O is any point inside this rectangle. Say this is the point inside this rectangle say o is the point now we have to find ob square plus od square that is ob square plus od square equal to oc square plus oa square oc square plus oa square fine now what is given in the question to show that we have to draw something extra and what is that called extra drawing yes construction 
so we have to construct something here what is that construction from o we will draw a line perpendicular to this and this that is through o a line is drawn say the line is mn which is perpendicular to bc as well as perpendicular to ad fine now we are ready to show what is given in the question so let us write the uh, left hand side yes from left hand side only easily we can show that lhs what is given ob square plus od square plus od square now uh, you can see this ob square is here so we'll take this triangle now now from this triangle we can write that perpendicular square sorry uh, hypotenuse square that is ob square equal to on square plus bn square yes on square plus bn square fine now we'll put this value here ob square means on square plus bn square on square plus bn square plus od square od is here in this triangle od square that is hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square that is om square plus dm square perpendicular square plus base square yes so od square equal to om square plus dm square fine now see this on square will keep on square will not change it bn square instead of this bn i can write am yes this portion are equal so instead of bn i can write am so am square plus om square we are not changing it just keep om square plus dm square instead of this dm i can write yes cn dm equal to cn you can see that dm equal to cn so instead of dm square i will write cn square fine now on square plus cn square can you see on square the underlined portion on square when means this on square plus cn square this means perpendicular square plus base square equal to yes hypotenuse square oc square so we can write oc square plus am square plus om square this is am am square plus om square that is base square plus perpendicular square equal to yes hypotenuse square that is oa square so instead of am square plus om square i can write yes oa square so you can see we have started from our left hand side but we reached right hand side so the sum is proved let's move to our question number 6 Question number six. It's displaying on your screen. OP, OQ, and OR are perpendicular from O on the side BC, C, and AB. Let us draw the triangle first. So this is my triangle. ABC is the triangle ABC. Now, what we can see, OP. is the perpendicular say o is this point yes this is o now op is the perpendicular on bc op this is perpendicular 90 degree then oq is on ca this is oq is this is also a perpendicular on ca and or is another perpendicular on ab or is another perpendicular fine so this is the figure given now we have to show o ar square yes i can see ar square plus bp square plus cq square equal to aq square plus cp square plus br square but uh, from this figure which is given in the question from this figure it's not possible to show what is given in the question 
so we have to draw something extra i mean construction we have to do what is that construction just join oa ob and oc yes just join oa ob and oc so we have joined this now let us write this left hand side yes what is that left hand side left hand side is ar square plus bp square plus cq square yes now uh, ar where is ar this is ar here is ar means we have to take this triangle fine so let us consider this triangle now what is this triangle uh, from this triangle if you use pythagoras theorem uh, this is base this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse so we can write that perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square understood we have just written this now or square plus air square equal to a square so air square equal to AO square minus OR square. So instead of this AR square, I will write AO square minus OR square here. AO square minus OR square. Fine. Now BP square. Where is BP? Here is BP. I mean this triangle. So from this triangle again we will use Pythagoras theorem. Perpendicular square or base square plus perpendicular square. BP square plus PO square equal to BO square. Fine. Now uh, BP square equal to PO square minus PO square. This PO square is going there. So instead of this BP square, I will write this value BO square, BO square minus PO square. Fine. So in the same way, I will write now where is CQ? Here is CQ. I mean this triangle. So from this triangle again perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. What is perpendicular? OQ. Perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. So what I can write CQ square equal to OQ square is going there. OC square minus OQ square. Fine. Now we'll put this value of CQ square here. OC square minus OQ square. Fine. Equal to. Now AO square. Where is AO square? This is AO square. AO square minus uh, we can write uh, yes this two. We'll write them together. O square minus OQ square. Fine. These two I am writing together. Then I am writing BO square minus this two. This one and this one. Plus BO square minus OR square. Now I am writing the remaining two. I mean this one and this one plus OC square minus PO square. Fine. Now, why I am combining this, you will understand it now. See, AO square minus OQ square. What is AO square minus OQ square? I mean from this, to this triangle. AO and OQ. AO and OQ. Both are involved in this triangle. So, from this triangle, what can I write? Let us write it here. From this triangle, I can write that perpendicular square, I mean OQ square plus AQ square, AQ square equal to AO square. Fine. AO square. Okay. That is perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. So we are writing in this way. So now this OQ square I am taking this side. So AQ square equal to AO square minus OQ square. Okay. So AO square minus OQ square equal to AQ square. 
see here a o square minus o q square is a q square so we'll write a q square plus same way b o and o r this is b o and this is o r i mean this triangle now this is b o and this is o r both the sides are involved in this triangle so in this triangle we have to use pythagoras theorem what is that perpendicular square plus base square that is o r square o r square minus o b o square sorry perpendicular square plus base square that is b r square b r square equal to b o square understood sorry perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square so we are getting uh, o r square i am taking that side so we are getting b r square equal to b o square minus o r square fine uh, you can see now b r square equal to b o square minus o r square so instead of b o square minus o r square instead of b o square minus o r square i can write b r square this is b r square understood same way we have to see o c and p o are the part of which triangle o c and p o this is o c yes this one this is o c and p o this so these two sides are involved in this triangle yes this triangle and what is this triangle o p c so from this triangle i have to use pythagoras theorem what is that pythagoras theorem perpendicular square perpendicular square sorry perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square oc square fine now what is op square op square we will take that side so pc square equal to oc square minus op square now see oc square minus op square yes you can see now oc square minus op square see oc square minus op square equal to pc square so instead of this i can write pc square now you can see your left hand side is equal to your right hand side so the question is proved question number 7 you can see on your screen diagonals of a rhombus let us draw a rhombus first a b c d this is a rhombus yes a b c d this is a rhombus but before starting this sum i want to remind you the properties of a rhombus that uh, all the sides are equal yes we know that all the sides of a rhombus are equal and not only that if you draw its diagonal see this is the first diagonal this is the second diagonal so if you draw the diagonals then say they intersect at o then this angle this angle this angle and this angle all are 90 degree and not only that this part and this part are equal and this part and this part are also equal i mean diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other yes we know this property now let us see what you have to show we have to show Uh, OA square plus OC square equal to two AD square minus two BD uh, sorry BD square by two. We will start with right hand side. That will be easier. Right hand side. What is that? Two AD square minus BD square by two. Fine. Now two AD square. This is AD. That is for this triangle. Yeah, for triangle AOD. this is hypotenuse so instead of hypotenuse square i can write perpendicular square plus base square that is ao square or oa square plus od square fine so oa square plus od square okay minus bd instead of bd i can write bd is double of od yes bd is twice of od because i told you that this part and this part are equal see equal so instead of bd i can write twice of od so instead of bd i'll write twice of od 
whole square since bd is square so that's why i'm giving square by 2 now 2a square plus 2 od square minus 2 od square means 4 od square by 2 that is 2 a square plus 2 od square minus 2 2 so 2 od square fine ah now you can see correct now 2 plus 2 od square minus 2 od square cancelled so we are getting 2 oa square so instead of writing 2 a square i can write oa square plus oa square because oa square plus oa square is 2 oa square now instead of this oa square i will keep it oa square plus instead of this oa i told you in the beginning that for a rhombus this section and this section are equal i mean oa equal to oc so instead of oa i can write oc so that is what i am going to do now instead of oa i will write oc understood square square so you see we started from our right hand side and we got our left hand side though sum is proved fine and uh, you must be careful see instead of oa square i have written oc square why because i told you oa and oc are equal so what property is utilized here the pythagoras theorem of course plus the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other that's why this section and this section are equal and this section and this section are equal i hope you understood this sum let us move to our question number Eight. Can you see question number 8 which is displaying on your screen? In this one a triangle is there ABC. The figure is also given. You can see the figure. Triangle ABC. Yes this is the triangle and this is an altitude. Altitude means 90 degree. It is the altitude. C B A. Fine. Now what is given? that uh, uh, D device BC in 1 is to 3 ratio that means BD is to DC equal to 1 is to 3 fine so let us consider BD equal to X and CD equal to sorry DC equal to 3X in doubt so we are utilizing the ratio X and 3X now we have to show that 2ac square equal to 2ab square plus bc square. I am writing the right hand side. We will start with the right hand side because right hand side is little bigger. 2ab square plus bc square. Let us write with uh, right hand side. Now 2ab square. Instead of ab square I can write this is ab square. That is hypotenuse square. So, hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square. I mean AD square plus BD square. AD square plus BD square. What is BD? X. So, let us utilize it. X square plus BC square. You can see BC. This complete one is BC. So, what is the value of BC? This is X and this is 3X. So, BC is 4X. So let us write 4x whole square. Okay. Now 2 ad square plus 2 into x square plus 4x square means 16x square. So 2 ad square plus 2x square plus 16x square. That is 18x square. Any doubt? I hope you don't have any doubt on this step. Now 2 ad square plus instead of 18x square I can write 2 9x square yes because 9x square into 2 is 18x square yes simple now 2 ad square plus 2 9x square instead of 9x square I can write 3x whole square fine because 3x whole square means 3 square is 9x square okay so 
यू कैन सी नाउ टू एट स्क्वायर प्लस टू थ्री एक्स वट इज थ्री एक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ थ्री एक्स आई कैन राइट सी डी यस सी डी सो आई एम राइटिंग सी डी स्क्वायर बिकॉज थ्री एक्स इज सी डी एंड दिस स्क्वायर दैट्स वाई स्क्वायर नाउ लेट अस टेक कॉमन टू वट इज लेफ्ट ए डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी डी स्क्वायर ओके नाउ इक्वेल टू टू नाउ सी ए डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी डी स्क्वायर इज वट ए डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी डी स्क्वायर सी द फिगर ए डी स्क्वायर दिस इज ए डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी डी स्क्वायर आई मीन परपेंडिकुलर स्क्वायर प्लस बेस स्क्वायर इक्वेल टू यस हाइपोटेन स्क्वायर विच इज हाइपोटेस ए सी इज द हाइपोटेस फ्रॉम दिस ट्राइंगल परपेंडिकुलर स्क्वायर प्लस बेस स्क्वायर इक्वेल टू हाइपोटेन स्क्वायर दैट इज ए सी स्क्वायर सो लेट अस राइट दैट सो ए डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी डी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए सी स्क्वायर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस टोटल आई कैन राइट ए सी स्क्वायर सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम आवर राइट हैंड साइड वी प्रूफ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज डिस्प्लेइंग ऑन योर स्क्रीन पी एंड क्यू आर द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द साइड सी ए एंड सी बी ऑफ ए ट्राइंगल ए बी सी हुज राइट एंगल एट सी लेट एस ड्रॉ द ट्राइंगल फर्स्ट दिस इज माई ट्राइंगल फाइन नाउ इट्स गिवन दैट वेर इज द राइट एंगल येस एट सी सो सी इज नाइंटी डिग्री so this is a this is b now p is the midpoint of ca this is p and q is the midpoint of cb this is q fine now see what i have to show four bracket a q square plus b p square bracket equal to 5 a b square so let us write the left hand side what is that left hand side left hand side is 4 aq square plus bp square fine now what is aq square if i join aq so i am getting a triangle here so i can use the pythagoras theorem what is hypotenuse tell me yes this is the hypotenuse so instead of hypotenuse square i can write perpendicular square plus base square that is ac square plus cq square so let us write it ac square plus cq square fine plus instead of bp square what can i write this is bp so now for this triangle this is another right angle triangle so instead of bp square i can write perpendicular square plus base square that means pc square plus bc square pc square plus bc square fine now for this should be in a bracket because it was in a bracket fine now for ac square plus cq square plus pc square plus bc square i have just removed the brackets now for what is ac square plus bc square c ac square plus bc square is yes ab square so instead of ac square plus bc square i can write ab square fine plus now what is cq cq is half of bc because q is the midpoint of bc since q is the midpoint of bc so instead of cq i can write bc by 2 so i am writing it bc by 2 but it was square that's why square square plus now what is pc pc is half of ac because p is the midpoint given in the question so instead of pc i can write ac by 2 so i am writing ac by 2 it is square so that's why square square fine and this bc square we are not going to write it because ac square plus bc square is ab square 
we have written that understood now in the next line i am writing so here 2 square means 4 and this 2 square is also 4 now by 4 we will multiply all 4 into ab square 4 ab square plus by 4 if you multiply it this is 2 square that is 4 so 4 4 will be cancelled i mean like this say i am writing 4 into this 4 into bc square by 4 bc square by 4 4 4 is cancelled bc square is left so we can write bc square plus by 4 if you multiply the same calculation so 4 into this 2 square is 4 4 4 cancelled s square s square understood so now i'm writing it here 4 ab square plus now bc square plus s square what is bc square plus s square this is bc square yes bc square plus s square you can say that base square plus perpendicular square equal to yes hypotenuse square from the bigger triangle so base square plus perpendicular square equal to hypotenuse square that is ab square so instead of bc square plus ac square i can write ab square so 4 ab square plus ab square that is 5 ab square proved so students i hope you understood these sums and i suggest you to practice those sums thank you